Yeah. And even just on the point you're talking about right. that Christ came back. Right. Till this day, <laughs> in African cultures, we believe that when our ancestors are out, right. they're coming back. Yeah. Right. As kids, right. Right. some people yeah. think as, as children. kids. Yeah. Well, now that we're separated, the story may be a little different from, yeah. from culture to culture. Yes. But in, in, in South Africa here, yeah, the things that I've learned is yes. kids usually yeah. come back as, as your parents. 100%. As your grandparents it's like and your it's great grandparents. In, and in one context, you'll call it reincarnation. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. In the other context, it's just a Guys, <laughs> <laughs> things fall apart. Things fall apart. Yes. Uh, for everybody yeah. tuning in, we just had this conversation. <laughs> we had almost an hour long, right, 40 minute conversation yeah, about the book, only yeah. to find out that our mics were not recording. Well, the, the, right the laptop. Rate, yeah. Imagine. The laptop wasn't recording at the right <sighs> sample That's rate. That's a clear example of things falling apart. That is exactly things falling apart right there who, was who, so mad. who wasn't feeling right on the inside when we <laughs> because we <laughs> talked about how oh no wait this we is talked supposed about to be spiritual <laughs> yeah it's supposed to be a, from the inside first and then things from the outside, right? outside who wasn't who here wasn't, wasn't okay wasn't yeah. okay let's talk about this yeah. amen i don't know but i didn't see <laughs> right i know that Emmanuel <laughs> gave us the face that it was him he was like hey man, hey, man. You know, <laughs> he was like spiritually i was not like, right that today sleep i had yesterday maybe maybe it could know? contribute it could yeah. contribute hey, that's yeah. effed up so <laughs> yeah to everybody listening we had a conversation about this book right the same conversation we're going to try relay back to you now <laughs> right um we had a conversation this is supposed to be a chat about our initial thoughts about chinwa achebe's book things fall apart you know mm -hmm. i mean to get straight into it i guess we can start back at the title right yeah. right things fall apart right yeah we saw a clear example <laughs> of that happening right with <laughs> us right yeah right. uh, chinua picked the title um it's based off a poem right 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 by wb yates and there's a line in the poem i think that mentions that things fall apart do you right? think it'd be worth reading right now uh it uh, i think it's a deep poem okay i don't know where to pull it up okay mm -hmm. oh it's in the book the whole poem is it not in nah, the I intro? I, no i didn't they just make reference to it i think okay. it's in the intro they just well i've seen reference to it okay right? yeah i've also just read about it so um just on that poem it's not just the fact that there's a line in the poem yeah um about things falling apart mm. but uh chinua chebe really ascribes to this poet's view of life mm. right mm -hmm this entropy right in 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 philosophy you describe it or in science you describe it as entropy mm -hmm. that over time everything falls Eventually apart Eventually falls apart mm. right <coughs> i think chino trevor deeply believes that and beyond that he believes that there's a way that things fall apart mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that it starts first from the inside mm -hmm. right F things fall apart first internally and then from external pressures mm -hmm. right? and uh, I mean, that's African philosophy, that everything starts inside. Yeah. Everything starts in the darkness, then yeah. comes to light. Yeah. Inside, then outside. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that title, having read this book? Or parts of this book? I, look, honestly speaking, I, I, can't, yeah, I, I, I can't see the falling apart first. Yet. Like, yeah, because, I mean, things were falling apart for Okonkwo. Yeah, in the beginning. The main character, yeah, yeah, the main character in the beginning. Well, right now, I don't know what <laughs> might happen in this book, and it's so light, but anyway. Um, the main character, things were bad for him because of his father, right? 100%. His father was seen as the bastard of yeah. the village, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, right? he was poor, he was, he poor, was, he was uh, a singer, he was a singer, uh, which, was artist, artist, which was disgraceful, which was disgrace, yeah. but uh, which confuses me because they had dancers, right? Igugu, Igugu dancers they was it a guy was it Google a guy no they were dancers i think they dancers like were they, they female i don't know they don't describe the okay. but when i googled it it's like they masked masked um like oh, okay of one of those of yeah. the community Rituals, yeah. yeah yeah where they wear this big mask and they ah, dance 100 when the guys play their music and while they're in the band and, and, and it seemed to me like there was more than one person who played instruments because they spoke about yeah. other people who came Playing to play the, ba yeah. the bass and other people who would come yeah. and that's when his father was at his happiest right when, yeah. when people would come through mm -hmm. and and play with him and he could play the flute on top of all that 100%. Yeah. um so yeah but he, he he's he's um um struggle or his uh darkness or Ongongo his struggle yes yeah, so yeah. Ongongo struggle Ongongo's darkness started in 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 the beginning of the book from yeah. his father right his yeah. father was just not so the really it's already dark it's for already him. bad yeah. but it's not bad. Uh, it's not that dark you know not he, this dark yet not as you. dark as he makes it honestly okay. speaking because like after his darkness now he, we told we, we spoke earlier <sighs> here we go again here <laughs> here comes here comes the <laughs> we spoke here earlier <laughs> but anyway <laughs> anyway Pushing we spoke that. earlier about um yeah. how how we, there's a scene 
not what sorry we spoke earlier about how there's a scene are, are you talking about what i'm thinking about the the, the skull no 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 we okay spoke, we, oh, we spoke earlier about how he was being pushed by fear that's yeah. what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, 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 They've been yeah, pushed by fear. And where it pushed, they pushed him from behind, whereas yeah. in, in, so in his society, yeah. he's seen as successful because he's got a good yield of crop or yeah. of yams. 100%. Yeah. And he's, he's very strong. Yeah. He's masculine. He's an advocate of war. He's, yeah. you know, all that type of stuff. So yeah. he's seen it, but it, it pushed him from behind in that he's violent. He's very, he's very angry. Yeah. He's 100%. holding on to that anger of his, fa- I guess, of his father's what disappointment. He, probably yeah. the traumas that he went through yeah. while yeah. living with his father, whether right. it's not having food one night, yeah. whether it's the villagers not respecting right. him. Right. All of those things right. contributed to the Nkongo. Yeah. Or to the anger and Gongo travels yeah. with him right about. Andrew. So, so I mean if I if I can understand what you're saying, you're saying at this point of the book, right? Yeah. Um you the tragedy has not really manifested, although it's been I foreshadowed. Mean, there's a lot of tragedy. I yes. mean, like when you're already looking at it right now, like I said, things have already fallen apart in my mind. Because if you look at it, don't get me wrong, he Ongo Ongo is ex- <coughs> successful, right? Yeah. To a certain degree. Yes. Yeah. But when you look around him, like his wives, the wives, his, I, children, and his I said relationship this well. with his family, his relationship with his family. Yeah, you know, the, his some relationship of the tribal with others. Members. Yeah. yeah, some relationship with some of the tribal his relationship members. Relationship with himself. Yeah, yeah. Himself. <laughs> yeah exactly. His like that. And he's dead. Yeah. And he's dead. You know, you yeah. look around him and you're like, okay, he's successful. He's got the money, but whoa, you know, like yeah. a lot of these things are falling apart. You know, yeah. that's so that's heavy, from yeah. the beginning, I'm already like, okay, I <laughs> this, is, this is not put together too well. You and know, I, and I definitely hear that. Like already in the beginning. There's subtle traces of things already falling apart. Right. And you know, already the title gives a sense that this is not going to be a, a good, a good book. story. Yeah. <laughs> this is like this is not going to be fun. Tragedy <laughs> is inevitable yeah. here in this book. As soon so as I started, right. You can already connect with characters and think, oh, this one's going to have a happy ending. This one's yeah. going to have. But you already know that the title of the book itself. Uh, does anyone in this story have a happy <laughs> ending? I mean, we don't hear about the rich man's kids too much. Like, you oh. hear that he's got eight kids or nine <laughs> kids listen, or something. But in, in the context of the rich man, right? right yeah. In the context of this book, right. all we know about him is he really cares about his crops. Right. Yeah. right. So he got to a point where he didn't care about people as much. He used to yeah. be very generous with right. his yams and seeds, but he realized people weren't taking oh, care yeah, of these seeds. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm, that's a good yes, point. Right? Yes, yeah. they, they so said that, that yeah. changed his perspective, and now he's stingy with his, yes, with his seeds yes, in, yes. in the village. Yes. Yeah. So the only pr- the one time he trusts somebody with these mm-hmm. seeds, mm-hmm. Yeah. things fall apart. Things right. still fall apart. <laughs> right. Because then the weather gets bad, Onkonko is not able yeah. to realize yeah. his harvest, yeah. and this yeah. is the one time this guy was like, okay, yeah. maybe this guy is a trustworthy person. Yeah. So the question but becomes... But they said he didn't use his seeds. Right, uh, I that, think was that a different. He's just wealthy. Yeah, yeah. He's no, I'm saying I'm saying in Kong, in Congo, like in that when he gave uh, when the rich Ngongo man w- when the rich yeah. man gave Ngongo his seeds, he 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 Ngongo planted seeds that that uh, that year that year or yeah. that season, yeah. and then first it was dry and it was hot and everything dried up, yeah. and then it was too too rainy. Right yeah. after yeah. that that yeah. year it was too rainy. The storms, yeah. But I think there's a passage where it says luckily he didn't plant the seeds that he got from a friend. Yeah, I think I think he got four, two different sets of seeds. Okay, yeah. cool. from the rich guy yeah, and from a friend. Oh, uh, first okay. part, right. friend. So oh, he his used father's I think, friend. Yeah, I think right, he used right. half of the seeds. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. But still, in that sense, yeah. for the the fact that that story doesn't end well, right. it makes me question: Is there any character in the book exactly. who has a happy ending exactly. to their story? I mean, happy happy is. Uh, uh, a relative, I mean, like look at look at where we are. We yeah. were in the middle of Nigeria. It's like war torn, dusty. Like you probably yeah. sleeping but and you hearing. Who who gets what they want in the, yeah. in the story? Is there anyone the story? that gets what they want? It doesn't sound like it. An incoming trouble. All right now, tragedy there's that's trouble for come. everyone. Right now, trouble for everyone. Which is life. I mean, let's not. It's trouble for everyone. Let's not. You know. So, do you think that the author will try and? force you to look for good things even though things are inevitably going to be tragic you know tragic? what yeah i, I think the good things will just come to light i think that's the shine i think that's the genre of tragedy yeah. i think he wanted to paint a sad story and it's up to you to see the light he for me he does not paint any light although he they is there is instances of light yeah. when he's describing characters that when he just des- when he described Okonko throwing that uh 
animal guy, the initial the cat, yeah, the cat, yeah, to the ground. He was successful he in that instance. Like yeah. He sounds like he he's making a Gongo sound like an animal. They like oh, oh yeah. what a beast, a <laughs> oh what a what a, a monster. Hero. Yeah, we look up to him. So let's not make it sound like you know yeah. he's not he's not making yeah, yeah, anyone yeah, yeah. sound like in the beginning he makes Gongo okay. sound like yo staring, yeah. me, <laughs> you know Bane types. It's yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Onkoko is the main character, and he's he's a superstar in the beginning, right? Yeah. Because of his traits, he's strong. He has all these seemingly good traits, right? right and yeah. for the people listening, we're referring to a story where in in the beginning of the book, it's not really a spoiler because it happens right at the beginning, right? It's kind of first pages as you read the book. Right. Yeah. Onkoko is it, they part. There's wrestling, right? They, yeah. The villagers come together to watch wrestling for entertainment, and there's this guy who's unbeating that Onkoko eventually beats, beats right? Mm-hmm. right? So what I'm getting is that, that the author will create those little moments of victory, but they seem so trivial, don't they? The Compared to the whole story, yeah. it seems like the m- moments of winning are only a setup yeah. <laughs> for the tragedy I mean, that's he's, coming yeah. to he's before very this respected. person. Like he, he's for his age, that's when yeah. he first gets his level of respect. So I don't think it's very like quick and out the way. Okay, because yeah. for his age, they, they always say he started really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he started from nothing. And he started from nothing. To being a man, he started. It's not normal for people to be that young and yet so mm, oomphy. I don't know what the the term is. So, So therefore, that battle is a very significant hallmark in Okoko's story. Yeah, because everybody at that level of respect in the community changes after that battle. Everybody's like, whoa, okay, let's take him a little bit more seriously. You all know. right. All so right. I find it very significant because that's where he gets his first yeah. level of, hey, I'm part of, I'm a, I'm a higher ranking yeah. official in this community. Yeah. From for me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. I think he does a good job at describing uh, full characters. The yeah. characters are definitely not bland. Yeah. This yeah. is a literary classic, by the way. It's I mean, dense. I think it's he, super he dense. does a phenomenal. Just the fact that we can even discuss such a trivial topic right. to this level yeah. right. shows the amount of complexity he put into the characters yeah. like, I, like, I, like I said earlier though and uh, again we're <laughs> we're here again <laughs> um <laughs> yeah it, it's it's yeah Talk sorry i was looking at the camera sorry 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. um we, like we, we 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 oh man i'm forgetting what i said what well, like i said before um you don't get the depth from just reading it yeah. you get the depth from the conversation yeah, like I said, from the reflection. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm in a better place now because we had a conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but you get the you get the depth <laughs> from within the conversation from talking within about it. You know, like we said, you can't give this to someone who's overly aggressive, overly agitated, not intellectual, not intellectual. Give them the book and say good luck, and yeah. ca- and come back and he'd be like, oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, Congo's like yeah. we're having this. Th- it's in the dissection. Yeah. You know? That yeah. that you then become someone different. You you yeah. look at the book different. You get yeah. different value yeah. from the book. This this conversation brings out the value for yeah. me because when I was reading it, yeah. it was like you ah, know, ah. And, and I actually share those sentiments really well because yeah. you can't throw someone into this book. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Back in varsity, <laughs> yeah. actually, the deep end. I yeah. started this book. He said this too. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, <laughs> just so everybody knows. We, <laughs> had, this, we <laughs> had this conversation, <laughs> but I guess I must repeat it again. Right, right, right. Fact. like. Back in varsity, I started this book, right? Yeah. And it flew over my head so many times. Right, I was just like, right, what is right. this? What am I reading? Right. Everyone's speaking about Chino and Chebe, things fall apart, things fall apart. But I'm like, what is this? Right. Like, right. But now, when I'm reading it today right. with you guys and right. having these sorts of conversations, right. it is so dense. Yeah, exactly. It is Isn't so it, dense. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it weird how a piece of art can be revered so much around mm-hmm. the world. Apparently yeah. this book is read everywhere in every school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, um, it's the most popular black book. So how they describe it, the, the most read black book around the world, right? I read that somewhere. Mm-hmm. And for a piece of art to be revered that much, how crazy is it that we can go through life oblivious to why that's even important? Right. Even like mm-hmm. you who read it yeah. or tried to read it in <laughs> high school, right. tried. we're still like, oh, okay, I don't get it. <laughs> right. What is this? No, right. Without this conversation, you, you, you wouldn't understand the magnitude. I don't know. I, I, I don't think people have the depth of knowledge, you know? Yeah. Like that, yeah. you know. People are not used to thinking. No, <laughs> not like that. I mean, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> you know, that yeah, is not like that. I mean, we read a book, but we don't relate it to the Bible. We're just like these people are barbaric. Like, yeah, oh, we, we you take it to what we are surface. right now. Yeah. yeah, surface level, you know. But yeah. when you put it like deeper context yeah. to it, 
it was in this conversation. Yeah. Then, yeah. I mean, big ups to the people who can. You know, yeah. you're, yeah, you're yeah. very, you're very intelligent and intellectual. Don't get me wrong. But those of us who are like learning a new habit in and this, in this, yeah. in this, in this book club, it's like, all right, damn, this guy's like very mean. You know, but I know thing. Yeah, and you know what? I think the best authors intentionally make the value hard to find. Right. That's what I honestly believe. I believe they hide it. Right. Yeah. They don't want to tell you the value. You must come to it and yeah. realize how yeah. profound it is right. that yeah. it was even hidden in the first place. Right. Like, right. How did I not realize this about <laughs> exactly. this book? Right. 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 I, I think it's a hallmark of any great art. So Chino Cheva just describes the life of a village in Nigeria, yeah. I believe, in eastern Nigeria, which I'm also learning about. Mm -hmm. You know, you think Nigeria and all you think is well, Lagos. being Lagos. ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> Not even just Lagos, even people you think Yoruba or the cultures. Yeah. You think Yoruba because even when you're studying mythology, when they talk Nigeria. You're saying Yoruba? Yoruba. I don't know what that is. What is yeah. that? Language, culture, I think. Yeah. It's yeah, the people. Yeah. It's oh, like saying okay. baby people. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's Yoruba people in Nigeria. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I, I did not 100%. understand that. Thing. So when you, when you study mythology, th that Yoruba religion is yeah. referred to a lot. In fact, you know, on the theme of Western uh, narratives being stolen from African narratives, right. there's stories of how Marvel characters, I don't know if it's Marvel, or but Hollywood characters like right. Thor. Right. The, the character Thor exists in Yoruba mythology as someone else and before mm. Thor, like a god of thunder. Mm. Right? I just forgot the name, right? Hectic. So a lot of these good writers from Hollywood, they study mythology. That's where the best stories are right. in myth. Right. These things don't just come out of nowhere. Right. Right? And the African chat has been for a long time that they feel like their stories are being stolen and repurposed yeah, and then right. sold back to them. Right. Like a lot of other <laughs> things. Like a lot of <laughs> other things that we can Africa. mention. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. So we're not dealing with the Yoruba people now. We're dealing with the Igbo. 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 Right, Igbo. right. Igbo. I have to say it with Igbo. <laughs> well, not that I know it purpose. I'm not I'm African. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to add that. I'm yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta add it's a change of voice. Yeah. We're talking about the Igbo, Igbo people. people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, so it's in eastern Nigeria. He just, Chinua just describes a story of people in a village in Nigeria going through real things. But his language is so, man, this guy's like a mathematician with the yeah. how he chooses his words because right. it's, uh, people have described the book as deceptively simple. Mm. Yeah. You'll think it's simple yeah. reading it. Mm. And to the level of your mind, you'll extract the value that's yeah. there, but mm. the value is, is definitely there. Mm. It is so much mm. there. Like, mm. And I think that value is also showcasing it, how it can be so timeless as well. Mm. He said, uh, yeah. you, see, you see, when you read the book, you're like, you read certain proverbs and you read certain contexts and you'll be like, yo, actually I can apply this right now, right here in mm. my own life mm. as well. The proverbs that they speak about, you know, yeah. I look at that, I'm just like, Oh my goodness. Is there anyone this you related to <laughs> yeah, and that you can remember? Yeah, oh, the, uh, well, growing up in a West African um, context or household like that, yeah. we use a lot of proverbs as well. So when I went in, conversation. in conversation as well, my mom, my dad will come to and say, there's a proverb that we have back in our day and this goes like this. And you're like, okay, I see it. I see it now. So when reading even Chino Achieva's book, I look at that and I'm like, I see it. And you said this book was written like how many? 1950. 1950. So in the 15th century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these proverbs are still holding true today. And that's the layering of the book. That's the layering of the writing that Chino achieves as well. Those proverbs never die. Mm -hmm. No, 100%. Those proverbs, uh, they never die. And the book mm -hmm. is timeless because of that. Um, there's, there's a saying. There's one in the book where um, I think there's a saying somewhere. And this is in Nigeria, mind yeah. you, Katli. They they say that uh, you shouldn't whistle at night, right? Mm, Cause, I cause remember that. The animals can hear. Yeah, because mm. then the spirits will hear you. You'll attract evil yeah. spirits. Uh, and you can't say the snake's name. You can't call the snake by its name at night, yeah, or it will hear yeah, you. Yeah. And and um, that saying specifically that don't whistle at night. I remember growing up, uh, and we were in Stair Park. So Stair Park is a place in Polokwane where there's like double story houses. Stair Park in, in Afrikaans. <laughs> it's actually Stair, change of name. No, it's Stair Park, Stair like Park. Star Park, right? Uh, and and it, there's a lot of double story houses. The affluent live there, right? Yeah. People who can afford. And even in that space, I remember I was upstairs at my aunt's house, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it was nighttime and I was just happy. I was a happy kid. I started whistling. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin was like, stop, <laughs> right? Stop. This like is in South Africa. Yeah. 
And I was like, yeah, he's like, don't whistle at night. You'll call thieves. And I was like, what? Right. Mm. But I never forgot that as a child. And yeah. reading that now in a different culture in Africa, yeah. that to me dissolves borders. Right. Yeah, and I don't yeah. know if you know this, but there's, there's the whole Berlin conference. Who knows about the Berlin conference? I don't. Just in passing. Jeez, guys. Yeah. Ju- guys. <laughs> Just in passing. But that's why we had a book club. Guys, so. that's why we have a book club. <laughs> that's why I have a book club. Katero, the Berlin conference yeah. mm-hmm. was a conference that happened in Europe, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Where nations from all over Europe yeah. came together yeah. mm-hmm. to discuss how to cut up Africa for themselves. Mm. Oh, hectic. Right? Mm. We hear this in passing growing up, yeah. right? Like, yeah, they divided Africa for themselves, but yeah. you, you don't know, it was an actual event. People yeah. came, <laughs> they call it the scramble for Africa. Yeah, that yeah. one. Right? Yeah, I've heard of that. People discovered, oh, okay, Africa, there's gems there, there's yeah. ample land, there's this, there's this. They went back and then European nations were fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> over this territory mm-hmm. called Africa. Yeah. Well, there were people living here, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. A right? whole entire human being. Yeah, they described it. And I think that's part of Chinua's uh, contentions as well. Mm-hmm. Contentions yeah. being argument that they, yeah. they described it as a dark con- continent. They had this thing called a conference in Berlin mm-hmm. yeah. where they decided, okay, Britain will get this piece. <laughs> France, uh, France, you can <laughs> have, this. you can have <laughs> this, you know, <laughs> right? Rock, yeah. paper, scissors on this. And know. they had those chats. And the thing is, they, because they weren't living in Africa, they didn't then know like what tribes are warring with what tribe. So the borders they were drawing, sometimes they would group people who are enemies, yeah. sworn enemies, mm. uh, and, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, so these borders were artificial. Or sometimes they would separate people who are family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So you could find people living in uh, Limpopo yeah. at the top region who speak the same language yeah. as the people in Zimbabwe, but now they think they're different people yeah, yeah. when they were really the same. And I think this idiom of uh, don't whistle at night, yeah. something that I can relate to here in South Africa, happening all across the continent in a time in before, Nigeria. in Nigeria, yeah. in a time before the internet, the only f- logical explanation for me means that we were once one people, people. Yeah. connected who then got divided yeah. Yeah. same religion same yeah. beliefs yeah. same hoo ha yeah. Yeah. yeah right yeah uh, so that's part of the value of the story that's what part of what makes it timeless yeah uh, and not only that I have another theory Katleho mm-hmm. right um, Kat- Emmanuel mentions the idioms that are communicated throughout the book Proverbial mm. expressions. the proverbs they yeah. even say right in the book they describe that africans treat language as as an art mm. yeah right language is never normal mm. right yeah. very complex i have a theory mm-hmm. talk to us i have a theory go for it <laughs> the our language the name of our language here in limpopo mm. is called sipedi, mm. right? sipedi. what does yeah. that mean the second I don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, yeah, or I can't two, be sure. It means two. <laughs> yeah, two. Or Why is our language called two? My theory is that our, our language always has a double meaning, right? Mm. And when we talk, there's always, there's, there's always the, the poem and the literal meaning. The literal, okay. I believe to our language, there's both a physical and a spiritual meaning to okay. everything. Wow. Okay. So we could be talking about one thing, but it actually... It gets talking, interpreted. There's another in realm the conversation is happening on. Yeah. And, and that's just of, of the they used to practice that a lot more yeah. during those times with proverbs yeah you know like you'll do something and you and somebody will say something completely left yeah. but they you know they're talking to you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you laugh and i think that was the art of poetry yeah. and literature and anthropomorphization that used to happen in the past part yeah. of the sophistication which i believe would then give birth to certain literary cultures Mm -hmm. that would happen in Europe later on. Mm -hmm. The things that we now study in school and revere, Mm -hmm. your Shakespeare's Mm -hmm. and like. Mm -hmm. The stuff that we school them, basically. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And I think Chinua, like from stuff that I read also online, um, one of the reasons I believe that Chinua Achebe wrote this book is to showcase mainly to the Europeans, but also to the rest of the world, the complexity within our cultures and our system. It's not just Africa mm. as primitive or, you know, just this one nation. This was even a subgroup. We were looking at Nigeria itself yeah. and the, the villages within Nigeria mm. and the complexity within that, the complexity there within were many the people mm. within their language, the way they interacted. And mm. I think that showcases that, hey, this is not just some primitive organization or just some people here that you can group and scramble for, mm. you know, as well. So I think that's the power of value that is also showcasing in the book. Let me let me ask you that, Kathleen. Mm-hmm. 
Emmanuel describes how, you know, these are not people you can just come and, and scramble for. Mm. Scramble. Growing up, or even now, did you have a perception about the people of our past, right, our ancestors, people who came before us, that they were just not as smart as us or not as a, I, I don't know, know. I don't. I don't know what, pre- I don't know. You mean to tell me, like, uh, how, how did it happen? Is that what you mean? I mean Is that what you're asking me? Like, I mean, how the <laughs> hell did ships come through yeah. and then just take, <laughs> take everything? everything. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you guys? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> I hear you. You can come with that question. I hear you. <laughs> maybe, that's a second, maybe that's the second question. Yeah. I guess there's, there's been a justification for why we had to be treated the way we have. Right. And have you justified it in your heart as well? or I don't know. Hey, I... Yeah. I, I, I I, I, anybody who knows me knows that I'm not a big fan of Caucasians. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a very weird view. I'm not a big fan. Um, uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm very forgiving. So yeah. I, I don't judge you just because you're Caucasian. But yes. I'm not a fan. Um, yes. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a lot that has happened. Yeah, that. there's a lot that has happened that's just always like, all right, as soon as a Caucasian comes through, here's a checklist of things that I need to <laughs> cross yeah, off you know. before I can even say I trust this guy. You yeah, know what I mean? Or let me, you know, there's a yeah. list that you have to... Your lived experience has forced you to do that. hundred well. percent, because and I mean, it's, like like it is. it's just never been a nice interaction all the time. So yeah. I don't okay. know what you want me to say. I've learned. It's been tough. Yeah, it's, it's been tough. tough. Yeah, that's, it's a been honest, tough. that's I've an honest I don't know opinion. what you want me to tell you. It's been tough. Yeah. Cool. That being said, uh, I don't. I don't try, try leaning into. All oh, right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily think they were weak or like you know less evolved. Less were they worthy of being conquered? Because sure. I, I feel like in the mind of. Our light-skinned brothers. Yeah. I feel like in their minds, they have to justify what their parents or ancestors Went did through. somehow. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. So, and, and I mean, do you think they were of, when you, I, I guess let me ask the question this way. Yeah. When you read the book. Yeah. When you learn about the cultures, when yeah. you learn about their values, when you read the idioms, when you read what they cared about what the they complexities yeah, yeah. is the level of nuance enough for you to realize that these were human beings no definitely that's not yeah. the problem well, the thing the problem is and this goes back to my issue with caucasians the problem is i think we're just i don't say would let people walk over us or whatever the case may be but i think at the time or in their time we're just not a I don't want to say violent because violent is too layman's of a term. Yeah, hundred percent. But mm-hmm. I, we're just not an aggressive people, you know. We're yeah. not. We're not those people. We're not like. Mm-hmm. We're, we're for good. We're for peace. We're yeah. for equality. We're for unity. We're yeah. for, you know, like we're not there were those people. So, I guess it was easy to fool us, you know, because that's our innate. Uh, behavior, you know. Like I said right now, like I, yeah. I, I d- Ubuntu. I can't. Yeah, I yeah. can't. I can't trust a caucasian just of face value i can't i can't do it i don't know what you to tell you experiences we as people. black people we are are a certain way there are a lot of violences that are being inflicted on us even right. still today yeah. that make you question like we're a not lot. that way like think about it i mean think about it there's a lot of vi- like you just mentioned there's a lot of violences that are happening to us today yeah which we haven't retaliated like julius juju's coming up now <laughs> on some yo guys listen. we need land <laughs> oh julius just land, <laughs> land now Can i'm gonna shoot a nigga <laughs> like I'm a, oh sorry i'm gonna shoot a, a person a person, <laughs> a person. Yeah. i'm gonna but shoot already, a person yeah, like yeah. like but land already now. That, that seems to be shunned d- and down yeah, cause, upon, cause it's out of right? character for yeah. us it's yeah. out of character for that's not who yeah. we are that's not what we do right like look in look in america african americans getting shit on every day but you don't see them starting a war to kill all the cops they don't they don't they don't Maybe get they together on themselves and then start shooting all the cops no they were systematically trying to show white yeah, people this is wrong. that yeah. listen we're gonna build an economy and you guys are gonna sit that side you know that's just yeah. which is so, so that's yeah. great about what we're doing as well but we're saying to to well the, what we, the retaliation at least in a Black Lives Matter war was that you know what we'll just focus and work on getting our thing together just don't kill us and you While guys just yeah this. and you guys will just stand that side yeah. and you guys can join don't get me wrong you guys can join there's a checklist though I I, I believe I believe <laughs> okay, there's a checklist yeah. though you can't just join on it's some secret agent stuff yeah there's a checklist but you can join and we can do this thing yeah. but we're going to do this thing we're not going to come back and kill you guys you know yeah. Yeah. and i think um that sound was the camera dying oh, you heard it. okay cool no. yeah. yeah i heard it you I can leave it. it you can leave it it's fine okay no the i'll sort it out while you're explaining yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so the 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 that 
is our innate like think about it do you, now do you think those people or the people who have died and everything do you think they were worthy of being killed for the cause that that were that they have decided to like so so do you think they were worthy uh, uh i don't know all their names and it's sad because we we we, we get crucified as or not crucified that's a, maybe a too harsh a term but we get yeah. <laughs> we get uh, ostracized as uh, as south africans or whatever the case may be for uh, knowing the dead people who got shot in the by cops in america and stuff 100%. like that like i know that one person's surname is rice or what's the george floyd taylor george floyd, yeah. brianna taylor brianna taylor rice yeah. and i think it's tamir rice or something like that i'm, I'm not, not sure. sure what her name is but yeah anyway um do you think that those people were worthy of being killed, killed for whatever yeah. notion we're now pushing because we didn't kill anybody back i mean the cop fine some of the cops went to jail some of i guess yeah. i don't know yeah. even what the end result really really was you know but like do you think that then that justifies I us guess, i get it yeah mm-hmm. what, what you're saying is just bring the situation to today yeah right? yeah right um and yeah i think when it's distant it's easy to try create a narrative of what ancient Africans must have been like. Yeah. Right. right. It's, and you, because it's distant from, they, I think this, that's the trick, at right. that they distance it from you. Yeah. yeah. And you think these were different people from what you are now. Right. Yeah. But you look at it today happening and you can super, it takes a lot of intelligence to superimpose right. that, these two are the that same. this is the same situation. Right. Is it right so now? Right. If it's not right now, it was never right then. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, if you think like, yeah. I, I don't, I don't think George Floyd was weak for just sitting there and saying, you killing me no i don't mm. think our ancestors were weak at all or 100 percent. i don't yeah. judge them at all for it's just that they were like okay this is guys african culture what are we doing here it's yeah. like we're not gonna should we fight back like what <laughs> nah let's be diplomatic about this mm-hmm. they went diplomatic about shit yeah. you know mm-hmm. so it was and like okay but you, you know 100 percent. i think and then some people will argue that no but you read the book yeah and when you read the book there's a, <laughs> there's a scene when Konko comes back from war. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Things already fell apart. Right. Right. He comes back from war and the he's head. beheaded some guy. Yeah, right. yeah. And we don't know what happens in between, but then yeah. he, he ends up drinking palm oil from the, the skull yeah. of that person he's beheaded. Yeah. Right. And then I, I guess the, the debate would then become, but I thought you guys are peaceful. Yeah. I thought you guys are not violent. Yeah. And I, and I want to touch on that. I was about to say, that was, was to keep the peace. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was exactly <laughs> that. He- that beheading <laughs> was for right. peace's purpose. Exactly. <laughs> it was a wrestling match. <laughs> it was a, it was for the purpose. It was, it was not even that was not the wrestling match. It was, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was, there was something else. Yeah. The wrestling match was just a wrestling match. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's for the um, purpose okay. of peace. It's like y'all acting silly. We're gonna sh- we're gonna it. do we're gonna this gonna to keep the peace because we need to keep the peace. Yeah. Look at the yeah. way they they handled the situation with the. Uh, sorry, I, I feel like I'm interrupting something you want to say, but look at the way they handled the situation with the uh, okay the, with the wife dying. With Let me the, describe one of the village members' okay. wife. Right. Dying. Yes, yeah. yes, so yes. so one of the village's members in Ngongo's val- yeah. village, village, right, right yeah. dies, right, yeah. and then the community comes together to yeah. discuss, hey, we've lost the daughter of our village. Yeah. yeah. Now the whole community's outrage. Of course, that's an emotional thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But. I, you know, just the fact that they're dealing with it as a community and they didn't say, well, it's not my <laughs> daughter. <Yeah. laughs> right? right. We had that exactly. communal living. Right. Right. And I think just on that point, they even called it, I think the child's name is Umofia. Umofia. Umofia's yeah. daughter. You see, they didn't even say Yeah, that we lost our community's daughter. daughter right. right. And, and I think I think Western civilization and uh, fast forward capitalism talks a lot about protecting individual rights, about being an individual. These, they, it's not about working together. They don't believe in the capacity of people to be good enough for me to want to work with them. Right. right. I think in Western civilization, they look at that as mature, that, no, I'm going to just do me because people are messed up. Mm. In African cultures, it's like, no, if somebody's messed up, he's adding to the messed upness <laughs> of our community. <laughs> yes. Compounds. So we, so we, need, we need to deal in. with that <laughs> yeah, We need to reel him in. Exactly. He needs to be closer. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, American uh, uh, society shuns communism, but that's all communism means. It means communityism communism not capitalism <laughs> money One. is the end yeah, all right. that's not that doesn't sound smart right yeah, yeah, yeah. when you look at it but when you get into the debates it becomes something different right so 
the, one of the children of the community dies. The community comes together and they try, they upset about this. Yeah. They go to the community that killed their children's community. And there's two options. It's like, well, exactly. are they going to fight, right? Because exactly. y- you need to learn the lesson somehow. Mm. Yeah. Or there's a peaceful resolution, which is you're going to give us a lad, which is a boy yeah. and a virgin. Right. Yeah. Let's not judge the virgin thing right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's another discussion. The right? masculinity but, in this. But thing. Just <laughs> <saying. So> taking <laughs> the son from the mother and father. Or, yeah. You know, just but like but that. I think that's. I mean, that's what other punishment. Yeah. Would you instill, then something like that? When you think about it, at, on the surface, it's, it looks like, yo, dude, because two wrongs don't make a right, right? Mm, now they killed you. How else do you teach the lesson that it's wrong to? Right. I mean, in, in Western civilization, the solution to that is to lock up a person in a cell for, for a very long time. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Jail time. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. Mm-hmm. So in the African solution was that here's a consequence, yeah. but you can live however you want yeah. from mm. that. Yeah, but now I, I don't have to you, captivate you. You kill mm. our child. Now we, we take, take your, your child. child. So you know what the pain <laughs> yeah. of losing, losing a, child a child is. is. Yeah. Then we yeah, we don't need it. to rage war yeah. on you. Yeah. And, and we don't need to restrict your life. Like, you learn the yeah. lesson. Yeah. Learn the lesson. <laughs> we don't have to keep you in a cage, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah it because sucks. You know, <laughs> and you know it sucks. And you know, they're not just taking <laughs> it from a family. They're taking it from a community right. because that's how they view themselves. It's uh-huh. like we're all connected as one. Right. So we're, we're going to show together. you that lesson of taking also a son and a daughter right. from you as well. Right. That's the only way you can to see what it means. I'm 100%. So, I mean, that's, that's very powerful to even mention that um, some of the, th- this is what I want to say about the whole, so uh, were we violent, right? Yeah. Um, the way I'm starting to understand it is African philosophy understands the role of good and the role of evil, mm. the role of violence and the role of peace. That's mm. an intense right. topic. Mm. Right. The role of it. Yes. Mm. Like you say the role. It has a place. Exactly. Mm. Right? We can describe ourselves as a peaceful people, but violence comes when it even I even ain't before, a killer but don't push me. Don't push hundred <laughs> percent. I ain't a killer but don't even push me. In the book, <laughs> yeah. They don't go out to war without consulting their spiritual right. guides. Yes. Oracle. It's the oracle. Which right. is called the, the oracle in the book. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, Asian philosophy, I don't know if you know this, but even when they, in, in history, when they describe, there's, there's a certain term called Afro-Asiatic. Have sure. you ever heard that term? First time. In Asian society? No, no, no. In just in general, oh, literary, yeah. uh, sh- in, what do we call this? Just in general literary spaces, mm. when describing a people, mm. African people and Asian people are kind of put together. Okay. What's right? the term? Ter- again? Afro-Asiatic. Oh. Asiatic, oh, that's what you were saying. Okay. Yes, okay. it's used to describe a certain kind of people. Okay. In fact, even if you've seen the documentary Hidden Colors, they describe how, the, if you look at the Khoisan people mm. yeah. in South Africa, they the and their eyes are like mm. slanted mm. like mm. this, mm. they're saying that's where Asian people ascended from, oh, from mm. black people, right? Hectic. Everybody ascended from black of course. people. Everything <laughs> comes from here. Of course. Everyone like, comes. let's not, and I'd, I hate how that's not such a well-known thing. 100%. Like one day someone mentioned it on a on a on a on another podcast. Like uh, uh, I think it's called the shop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you guys seen the shop? Mm. Uh, I think I have it, but online. like yeah. a lot of a lot of I think LeBron James and and yeah. and, and uh, uh, Gambino was on there. Hundred uh, yeah. percent. Um, um, Donald Lover right. was on that show just at the same so time. Just remember oh, sorry, the mic, sorry, right? Right, right, right. And and um, they were discussing. Um, I think they were discussing music with someone else and inspiration and everything. Yeah. And that guy was uh, Puerto Rican or something or Latin American of some sort, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And he said. First of all, he stopped the conversation. He said, first of all, everything comes from Africa. And I was like, why is this not a like a why is it a debate? Known thing? Yeah, why is it an argument? <laughs> Who why controls the media? Yeah, that's the problem. Who controls that's the narrative? They control, control the, the narrative. narrative. So they make it seem like nah, Him. made in China, yeah. made in made it. No, hold on. <laughs> we were all we all originated here. All of us come from here. Which is which is probably why we were seen as weak or whatever, because we're not the the ma- manov- ah, I'm trying malevolent. To use, yeah, malevolent. Yeah. I'm trying to use big words here. For the podcast. Yeah, for the vibes. Malevolent. Pe- we're not the malevolent kind. Yeah. We're the original people. We know how this shit works. We know how to work together. We know how to build. We yeah. know how to. We had that wisdom. We yeah. know how this thing works. We had that wisdom. And we yeah. know. And that's why. That's why love is so much stronger than hate. Always. Yeah. Mm. Always. Always. Mm. Always. You can. You can bring in so much hate and I can bring in so much love and I'll win when I go home every time because I am at peace. Jeez, yeah. and, and I think 
Yeah. And, I, and I think it's important to mention, because words can be quite limiting, even the English language, that mm-hmm. when Katlego describes love, we're talking about a trans... Not, not the word that we use to describe the opposite of hate. Yeah. We're talking about a transcendent kind of spiritual right. version kind of, of love. love right. right. That is bigger. Yeah. That, that is, is Yeah, that is bigger than love and hate itself. Yeah. Yeah, right. We're talking yeah. about something, something that transcends... Beyond. Love and hate. Right. Yeah. Uh, so when he says love triumphs over all, b- love can sometimes look like hate. Yes. Mm-hmm. In this context. Right. It right. Can look like all right. Hate. Right. A parent like sometimes if someone's missing like up. Yeah. <laughs> like when someone's missing yeah. up, you love them. You love by, them. by right. taking their children from the community. You. That's what you do. You're like, what? You do. <laughs> I didn't start a war. Yeah. I but came and I took your child. No. I love you. I love, I love you. you I love you. Don't, you. Don't, 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 do <laughs> don't do that again. Don't do that again. That's how it happens. No, That's how it happens. Me. Right. Right. Me. Wow. I, this is crazy, man. This Okay. This book has a lot of conversational points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah with, but, mm. with the stuff. Yeah. With the stuff that happens in here. Yeah. Um, geez, man. Geez. <laughs> geez. I look. I look back at it. And would I. I think the point that you made was that you wouldn't give this book to someone and say good luck. Mm. Yeah. The more the fact that we had this forty minute conversation <laughs> before, yeah. and then we had to re-record, yes. and now we're having a conversation. And it's totally different. It's totally different. It's totally different. I'm, I'm it's impressed. Totally different I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I don't want to lie. I'm impressed. I'm it's impressed. It's totally different topic. Because our conversations are, are have transcended past what we talked <laughs> what about we previously. Spoke about <laughs> previously, uh, right. yeah, we're somewhere else now. So, uh, just, right. I mean, just the fact that you know we're probably going into second hour of just discussing the, the beginning of, of this book, book. Right. literally four chapters. Right. <laughs> Four chapters. Right. Four chapters. Right. Right. The average. Right. The average. Right. The average. Right. The average the, the, the chapter of, seven guy. Two chapter seven. But so then the, the average seven guy. Four chapters. <laughs> so <laughs> how can four chapters be that dense? Exactly. To facilitate. For facilitate those big words conversation because think about it bro we can talk about kendrick versus drake yeah mm-hmm. we can do it 100 mm-hmm. percent, and keep going and keep going <laughs> and keep going yeah. it's just that you know we're talking about something that's important as well now you know yeah 100 like, percent. We, we don't get oh. me wrong we, we can do it it's not it's not it's not difficult i think i think don't get me wrong there's value in our conversation that 100%. we're having don't yeah. get me wrong it's not like oh it's easy we can just talk bloody bloody blah no 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 there's yeah. value in the conversation we're having and it it, yeah. it it stems towards the people that we are yeah you know or um, coming become want to be oh well. the people that we're becoming right <laughs> yeah. the people that we're becoming we just want to talk but about things you're like saying this. that people should be this should be conversation. Right. This should be, be part right. This shouldn't be special. Right. This shouldn't be like, oh, we can talk about a book for this long. No. Yeah. We That's can talk amazing. about we can talk about Kendrick we and Drake for this long. We've been doing for this it. Long. Yeah. We've been doing it. We yeah. can talk about the Premier League. We yeah. can talk about yeah. with music. We've been doing it. We're it's just that we're ourselves talking in the wrong places. Right. We're yeah, looking exactly. at the wrong thing. We're just exactly. supposed to be looking at this. And if we look at this and discern it, things come from it, you know? Yeah. Learning our history, be, be said. 100%. History informs us about our future. Yeah. So if we, have, future. if we have more conversations about our history, things that influenced how we became, yeah. we can further progress what we become. And make better decisions in the future. Right. Super important. Would you say, Emmanuel, that this book is life-changing? Yo, life-changing. Like, life-changing. Like, would you <laughs> say that if everybody could understand it, everyone should read this book? Everyone should read this. Like, everyone. I say everyone should read it. Life changing. It's it's a heavy word. Let me not lie. It's a very good book, right? And especially knowing one of what the best, I, apparently one of the, one of the best. He's still gonna get yeah. To even it. just reviews online, I'm guessing yeah. it's like one of the best, and that's why everyone is saying, "Have you read this? Have you read this? Have you read this?" I would say it is a it's a fundamental book that I believe it's open for everyone, not just Africans, for yeah. Europeans, for Asians, for everybody to understand us as people do and you just understand a speck of us it's not even the full thing of yeah, us the but story it's so is layered it's so layered that it can be a fundamental book that I believe it's great for everyone to read do you know why this book is so important do you uh, know why it's regarded as so important generally I can have my own opinions but I'm not sure what you were going to say apparently yeah. this was the first book written in English um, by a black person describing themselves Oh, mm. right, right. All the books about African cultures at that time was from the perspective of the dark continent. I right. see the 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 perception that right. was built throughout right. Europe. I and see. for the first time, a black person said, "With my own voice, I'm going to describe my people." Right. Look at that. Right. And all of a sudden, it's like things that the Europeans described as barbaric now had context. Yeah. yeah. Things that they described yeah. as simple now were complex. Right. Yeah. 
right, there was value systems. They were just a different people right. yeah. than the Europeans. Yeah. Right? It was just different. And right. yeah. That's why this book is so important. Right. In space. I want to I go back to your question now, if you think the Austin Manual. Life is it life changing? changing? Right. I want to... Because I want to track back to a conversation that we had earlier. Yeah. Um, we mentioned how I, first of all, I came in hot. I came in talking <laughs> about how the actions of these men were so barbaric and stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's where this. Yeah, did, yeah. did we did tell them about Just to give you a, They knew about yeah, the skull. The, how, the, the skull, <laughs> no, the, the head that came back from Obama's first yeah. war and all that <laughs> yeah. stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So I came in a little hot. I said it was barbaric. And, and Marcelo, you said. Well, if you look at it, like some of the rituals and things that were performed, you can see. Yeah. He, he grew up Catholic, he mentioned. So, therefore, he saw some of those rituals when the body of... of can, I, can I touch on that, actually? Yeah, Go yeah. for it. Can, Go I, for can it. I enter that? All I, all I want to say is, all I want to say is, I believe this little book is life-changing because of the conversation we're having. We had about see, it. And yeah. not if you just read and understand the book. Because you can read and incident. understand the book. And then you can go back and go read and understand the okay. Bible and still be like, ah, but uh, I'm fine. You know? okay. But if we have this conversation, this book came before the Bible then. That, that's yeah. what we're saying then. Okay. The things you wrote in the Bible, there they are. Okay. You know? the, the, like the, 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 and like I just want to, yeah. Like he mentioned, yeah. touching on that ritual. I see what's talking. You know? So it's almost life changing in the sense that you as a man or you as a woman or whatever the case may be or you as a western european or whoever you are might be sitting there thinking okay cool this is exactly the same thing we're telling you that this is exactly the same thing and you you might not be able to see it for yourself but it is that way you know yeah and and, and just go on to the ritual yeah. to make sure that the people there's understand context. yeah, there's yeah context. so there's context so people understand exactly what we're talking about yeah. but if you see the similarities like he said the similarities in adam and eve and we'll touch yeah. up, we'll probably talk about this on a different podcast yeah. podcast because yeah. i know yeah. we're very passionate about this type of stuff <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if we look at those similarities, it's very clear to see. I just got infuriated <laughs> right now about how, why doesn't F people know that everything started exactly. here? Why doesn't people why know that? Why are the that? connections exactly. not made? Why are they not, why you does know it what? seem like they know and we don't? Why is it glamorized there? Over there, but, but over we're here. here it's, it's like, like oh, oh, you guys are dark, you guys are, <laughs> no, I don't. Someone once posted a status on Instagram <laughs> and it post pissed me off. Black person that I knew very well yeah. was like, I'm Christian or, or, or I believe in God, but you know, there are other things in life and na, 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 and, and they were like, no, God and God alone. And it, it, didn't, it made me angry, but it made me sad. Cause I was like, you know, those other things, those dead people that you guys talk about, those are your ancestors. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. way Christ died, these people died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know why we make it seem like, How whoa, Christ died it? though. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. yeah when yeah, Christ can, dies, whoa, Christ <laughs> come back. <laughs> yo, and yo. that's the important part. And we all, and, and you know what? Even, 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 homies. What the you hell? Know, <laughs> you're, you're, you're talking about how anyway. you're talking about how the stories are similar, right? Right. Yeah. In in African culture and in European culture. Right. And even just on the point you're talking about. Right. that Christ came back right till this day <laughs> in African cultures we believe that when our ancestors are out right. they're coming back yeah. right as kids right. some people yeah. think as, children. as kids yeah. well now that we're separated the story may be a little different from, yeah. from culture to culture yes but in, in, in South Africa here yeah, the things that I've learned is yes. kids usually yeah. come back as, as your parents 100% as your grandparents it's like and your it's great grandparents in, and stuff. in one context you'll call it reincarnation right yeah. right in the other context it's just ascension <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying in the Christian context, right. now it's reincarnation, it's right, evil, it's right. not biblical. Right, yeah. right, but in right. the Christian sense, it's no, he came back, it's ascension, it's a... Yeah. Uh, you and know, you glamorize <laughs> one. And somebody died and came back, right? Yeah. Somebody, hate, it's the same thing. Yeah. And right? what, 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 what pushes me over the edge, sorry, you're going to give them yeah. context now. What pushes me over the edge is, listen to us. <laughs> or you suffer. That's what pushes you over the edge. In hell. It's like, and that dude, is so justified. What the hell? That you know, is such a justified you, feeling. You, the the game is not set up for you to win the, <laughs> the debate. Listen to us. Or you suffer for eternity and burn. I'm like, dude, <laughs> relax. <laughs> <laughs> like, relax. Hold on, let's relax. just talk. Relax. Can we talk? I can tell you about something that you've applied in your principles that have been applied for 50 years. But like <laughs> the millions way of years. Showing as well. Millions of years ago. <laughs> They're right here. Slow down. <laughs> it's not that deep. 
No, let me, let if you believe in that, you're going to burn. Put that book away. Man, let me, let if you let don't me shut give the hell up. That is so justified. <laughs> if you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> let, me, let me give them the context. So right? sorry, sorry, sorry. Just to, in just, the book. just to finish, just to finish. That's why it's life changing for me. Okay. It changes okay. that perspective. Okay. That's great. You know, I said we sit That's back powerful. in the back in the That's day powerful, and then. just think Christ and think Buddhism and think and you think about traditional African beliefs and you, you don't, don't know really the beliefs. Know what you know the perception about it. No, but the things that you're reading in these other books, the Bibles and stuff, that's your freaking can believe they just took them from you <laughs> and then they gave them back to you and sold it hard copy <laughs> number one publisher in the country right now probably is selling that stuff <laughs> is selling that. i'm pretty sure the bible sells every year yeah, properly yeah, new translation old translation written by that guy written yeah. by this guy it changes 100%. but yo and it's your stuff and just to finalize that point i think you see that's the beauty of having such books because you have now access to now we can th- argue now, now we can, can argue talk. Right. I can look at both and make a decision right you know, yeah. be like hey no no one's right. now forcing this down my throat right it's like I can have this book I can have this book but here's my here's my problem with the force down your throat perspective yeah I can't I've lost so many friends simply because I said I don't believe in this <laughs> how it is. simply because of it's that how it is. Yeah. they've made me seem like oh you're, um, you're doomed go to man. hell alone you're okay. doomed <laughs> yeah you're I'm doomed. not part <laughs> of that mess like dude what, <laughs> what's going I'm, on I know where I'm going like dude it's sad for me because it's like dude What's going on? How We're crazy is this? Let me hit you with the fact. Let right. me hit, let me sorry, hit. bro. You have to give sorry. them context. <laughs> too. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm going to give you guys context <laughs> just now, but let me hit you with the fact, right? There's this belief. It originates in African spirituality, right? Right. right. Uh, but now it's it's in Asian philosophy. In fact, they, the, Af- the Asian religion, right, or philosophy is the closest thing to African spirituality. Mm, right. Mm. Right. They're almost identical. Right. Um, so, but then, okay, then we move on to Hinduism, right? In India, there's this belief that you, your energy you have energy centers in your body right, right? Mm. and these energy centers are called chakras mm. okay right okay. you've seen the whole vibes right. with the chakras right. yeah hundred percent this is gonna blow your mind right. right so the belief is that there's an energy inside of you and this energy is electrical that's what people can't figure out that yeah, it's yeah. we're talking we're not talking some mystical yeah. funny yeah. <laughs> it's electricity yeah. right. it's electrical energy right. that flows up and down your body right mm. right mm. and it passes through these now the hindus call it chakras but if you're treating it as electrical energy you get to find out that they're just resistors you have oh, resistors hectic. inside of your body right, mm-hmm. right? and 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 then when the hindus meditate they have a chant and what is, <laughs> what is <laughs> listen to this um, what is the international standard measurement of resistance oh, in electricity taking me back to right so right. things get lost back to yeah. physics. <laughs> i just want to hit you i just wanted to hit you with that That's to show deep. you how you That's think deep. Uh, science is against your religion and it's no, like yeah. but it's the same thing it's it's the same. there's nothing new under something the sun. has been lost in translation 100% yeah. and yeah. and the, we need to get to the origin of it which uh, is in Africa uh, right uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna fight it because yeah, then they're gonna be like this is attack against okay okay no, no, let me give them context stuff, so I'm good yeah in the book in the book uh, things fall apart there's a story of how uh, Ongongwe goes to a rich man's house yeah and when he gets to this house they need to share in, in the rituals of, of sharing um, cola nut and palm um, wine and, and some pepper as a gift. Right? We, I think we it's never crocodile pepper. It's we gator pe- no? G- something pe- pepper. It's an pepper. animal pepper. Alligator yeah, pepper. Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. it? Damn, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember. But <laughs> so, so they're supposed yeah. to uh, take place in this, well, you can call it a ritual, but the ritual has connotations. It's just an activity that we do all the time. Yeah. They're supposed to get, go around and share. And as they... As they're doing this, uh, Ongonko gets to eat, uh, gets to drink from from the horn. They drink a palm wine from a horn. Yeah. Ongonko gets to drink first as the guest, I was and right. then I was crocodile. Right. Sorry, I was right. It's alligator pepper. Alligator pepper. All right, awesome. there you awesome. go. Awesome. I got it. <laughs> so o- Ongonko gets to drink first, and then uh, the elders get to drink. Right. The, mm-hmm. the and then they sit and they wait for a while because. Mm-hmm. The wives had been there, but the first wife was not there. Right. Mm-hmm. And she has to drink first. Right. So they were not going to break that law. Right. Now they're chilling. The first wife eventually comes. And then they describe this, this, the first wife. this process, yeah. right? No, they describe the wife too. They describe the wife too. Of How course. She, she looks a little yeah, more she's masculine. Strong, she's she's yeah. great. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but then there's this process yeah, that, they where, that they follow. Yeah. Where the wife uh, takes the wine 
drinks it, goes on a knee, says Ngongo's, I mean, the, the, the rich man's name. Yeah. Uh, by name. Yeah. Right? Shows her respect and then goes to the hut. Then when the second wife comes to drink, does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Grabs the horn, takes a sip, goes on their knee, and then goes back to the hut. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling Gatlejo that I grew up Catholic. And in the Catholic Church, there's a ritual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a ritual. It's a word. Same word, but it's, it's not it's as bad. Now it's not bad no more. <laughs> No facts, 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 facts. There's a ritual performed in the Catholic Church <laughs> where, called the Eucharist, right? And in this ritual, <laughs> we're going to drink the body and blood of... Cr- okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, but then we all come out of our benches, we line up, yeah. right? And as we line up, we go... There's a person who has a title, yeah. uh, uh, usually a female dressed in white clothing. Yeah. Um, when we get to the front, the female will say, the body of Christ. Yeah. And then we'll take that Eucharist. Uh, we'll, there's, e- there's even a way, like you take it with your left hand. You, mm, not you, even you right receive hand. it in your left hand and yeah. then you take it with your right hand. Yeah. You eat it, you take a meal. There's procedures. Right? Yeah. There's, and then the, you say, you do the sign of the cross, you stand up, you go back to the bench. Same thing happens. Uh, the next person comes up. It's done the same way. Yeah. The body of Christ mm-hmm. receives it in the left hand, takes it, takes a kneel, does the sign of the cross, goes back and sit down. Yeah. Right now, in that context, that's seen as sophistication. Yeah. Roman culture. Yeah. Right. It's the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. And that's seen as respect. Yeah. These guys have values. And yeah. but you look back and you're like, that's the same <laughs> thing that was described <laughs> the same thing, happening yeah. in the village. Same ritual. In and it makes you think this happened first. Yeah. Right. The the rituals were were developed in Africa, which makes you think that it's just a way. You know, yeah. some people might think I'm reaching, but you do more research and you'll find more of these instances that where you're like, but yeah, how? Yeah, this is just the same it's thing the in same, a different context. You can't tell me it's coincidence that it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. The similarities it's the same are there thing. for anyone to see. It's the know? same thing. Um, you can't tell me it's out of co- come on, yeah, no way. Yeah. Come on, you're, you're fighting me. <laughs> I'm gonna go to hell. You wanna fight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna no, go to, for real. I'm gonna yeah. go to hell, dog. Yeah. Just for telling you that this is the same as that. And I think that's the I beauty of it is that can't you even can do that in music. Sorry, yeah. man. <laughs> can't even. I can't even make a song that sounds like yours today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, make it, and then, fight, and then like you argue. Exactly. Nah, that's why yeah. I like, some put our sample are right. Eh. Exactly. He stole but his music, but here you're going. Ah, it's not the. S- it's how not the is same. it not exactly. the same? Exactly. Anyway, and I think you so. see that's where the problem lies when we don't know that that was the same thing, mm. or we don't even know that it's actually might be stemming from here, mm. or there's actually another space to look at it, mm. and that's where the problem mm. lies. Mm. So. so I mean, so in essence, uh, this book has a lot of layers, right? And we could chat for hours thoughts. initial thoughts <laughs> these are supposed to be part initial two. thoughts initial <laughs> thoughts part two get that right part two <laughs> and you guys are not gonna get part one <laughs> <laughs> like this is just sadness. this is it this is just sadness it just yeah. feels like it, uh, like again again you know look at how how well we're going into this book yeah, yeah. that just shows how much is there yeah. right to talk about right. Uh, the context I agree that the book is deceivingly simple mm. because it's not simple. Mm. It's all of the things we're talking about. Exactly. Kathleen mentioned 100% that if it wasn't for this conversation, you would not see really what value is being 100%. shared. Yeah. Mm. I would have left you like, those guys are barbaric. Those guys are... <laughs> Rituals. <laughs> <Sis. Yeah. laughs> oh, blood, please. Blood, please. <laughs> Can I have my blood and wine? Blood, my, my blood and bread. <laughs> cracker, cracker. Thanks. Oh, oh man. Fucking weird people. <laughs> <and rituals. laughs> That's what I would have left yeah, you yeah, like. Yeah. But now, yeah. after this conversation, yeah. I'm more, you yeah. know. Oh, you might think, ah, those guys are violent. Yeah. But it's like vi- How did even Christian, they say the first slave was made at the end of a whip, <laughs> right? <laughs> If we're going to talk about violence, that's another conversation. And that's in the book, but that's in there. You know what? We must buy a Bible and just go through it. I think we must have a Bible for book club. For real. Yeah, for real. Actually, we must no, have a Bible for book club, go through it, it all books and be like, guys, welcome. what's going on? Okay, let's dissect it. No, 100%. No, no, let's, a book let's just too. read what's, <laughs> what's here. It's all books too. are going, like, you it's know, a book too. So let's let's, game. Let's, 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 let's get that. Let's get that. Let's listen to his master, and if he fails to... <laughs> in the yeah. book yeah. in the book anyway it's the chat uh, I think in summary we can say fantastic book yeah fantastic book and I Incredible. can't wait really good really good man even have another discussion at the end of it when we finish it but yeah. you know it's one of those books where you pick up and you just don't want to put it down I can't, I can't wait to get 
the views of more people you know yeah i want true. i want people who disagree yeah. with us i want yeah. to to yeah because i want to see like how like why yeah where where, where do you, you disagree from? where are you coming yeah. from with your disagreement you know yeah. and yeah. see if i can like i want somebody to say no those people were barbaric yeah. that was a different situation <laughs> i want someone who's gonna come on the Actually. podcast and say you know what you guys are crazy <laughs> <laughs> what a waste stolen. of a book. yeah what <laughs> a waste, waste of, of money it's terrible those cultures are they, they they stole it from us that would be the most <laughs> hilarious thing <laughs> that would be they tough. came would be fair. they came into france saw us kneeling <laughs> and, then they, <laughs> and they, they went home money. and they started <laughs> 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 i want that no, i want that i want that i want that <laughs> because so yeah because that would that's be like tough. okay you know that's I want tough that. i want yeah. that yeah. that is tough yeah, yeah i want that i want that because that would be yeah, that's, that the, would, that's the conversation that's to the have. conversation yeah. to have like okay dude like how is it you yeah. know complex what about to you? other things how does it yeah. make it complex to you know and yeah. it goes back to something we were talking about earlier like abuses you know mm-hmm. uh, oh, well, we talked about this yesterday yeah. during our hash bits meeting by the way get your hash bits anyway yeah 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 um i think before b- before we even bounce you know yeah. i think th- you see and this was probably in the previous podcast. That's right. why we might think we've already covered it. Right. But do we, did we talk about uh, some of the things that are wrong with Nkonko? Like he, h- no. how he abuses we didn't mm. talk about that this his time. family. How he kind of mm. looks like the hero in the beginning. And then you go, whoa. Yeah, and whoa. then you start to question. You've got to Will Smith him after he slapped Chris <laughs> Rock. <laughs> you got to Will Smith after, <laughs> after he slapped Chris Rock. You've got to be like, whoa. Is this guy is really this cool? Guy <laughs> is this guy really cool? Because <laughs> uh, yeah. he's acting out a little. <laughs> he's acting out a little. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, even though we're giving so much praise for African culture and, and the context of of, our, of that, there are problems within there it. I problems. think I think that, that we just needed to have a conversation about context. Right. Right? Yeah. We're not saying everything is perfect, but right. just saying you, you're looking at it the wrong way. I mean, the right. book says right. things fall apart. So things fall <laughs> apart. Right. right. So, yeah. I mean, Ongongo is terribly angry and i think in the previous time we recorded i mentioned how many people do you think are living justified by their trauma right, right. so oh you you're, uh-huh. you're tying this to what i was about to say yeah. okay so i was like why did this guy interrupt me <laughs> look oh. i was like he just cut me off <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it ties into what i was about to yeah. say go for it go for it, go yeah, for it. Go i was i was asking <laughs> that you know you know how many people live telling themselves stories yeah. about because the world is like this I must be like this, right. and that like that leads way. to them treating people badly, very terribly. Right, yeah. 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 right. Again, yeah. so it goes like that's why I want to have a conversation with one of a guy who disagrees with us. You know, someone who yeah. disagrees with, or yeah. guy or girl who disagrees with us. You know, because then we can have the conversation where it's like, how I'm trying to understand this perspective. Perspective. It's like listening to a rapist and trying to like be compassionate yeah. about yeah, trying to understand him raping, yeah. You know, yeah, and see where he's coming from. Because at the same time, it's like okay, I. Like I can clearly see for myself what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Why can't you wild. see what's going why on? Why can't you? That's that's why a, can't you that's see a better conversation. Yeah. That's, that's why do we disagree? Why do we disagree right now? Yeah. How is it? I can. It's pl- it's on black and white. You know. The <laughs> what problem am I is your information is coming from all Caucasians. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all of them wrote it at whatever time they said. Yeah. And our information is coming from a black guy who wrote it at whatever he said. Now we're disagreeing because you know. Yeah. yeah. Like, why can't know? we just meet at the truth if yeah. there's a truth? If there's a truth, why can't uh, this? This should be a source of truth, yeah. and that's why it vexes me when people go. Everything comes from Africa. I'm like, why isn't there a big ass banner of this somewhere? Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. because you're yeah. trying, you're telling us that even if you go home and say, "Hey, man, Math, God, man, yeah. God," Science, then you know religion, that that very God culture, that was generated see, for you there yeah. came from us. Yeah, we were here actually. formulating yeah. a way to speak to Him, yeah. and <laughs> now you're speaking to Him through those guys. In the yeah. same way, <laughs> you, know you know what I mean? You, you see your when ancestors. When you know yeah. it came from Him. You see in your African religion, your your priestesses lighting candles. Mm-hmm. talking to the ancestors yeah. you go back to church we're lighting candles yeah. talking to yeah. and you're like dude <laughs> what are you doing why yeah. are you going there why are you paying to be there yeah. Yeah. you yeah. will never hear an African tradition where people took out their funds <laughs> <laughs> to, to talk never, to relate to God I've never a passage in this thing where, they say where there's a religious process where we meet and where they take meet out and take out all the this guy has to have this many yams <laughs> <laughs> in order for us to continue praising god <laughs> in order for otherwise us god won't yeah. be otherwise happy. god won't be happy and you're going to hell <laughs> like yeah. dude what the hell no no uh-huh. anyway anyway sorry i feel like i'm i'm, I'm people, are gonna, people, people, people like are gonna look at me like this guy just hates no 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 yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. not it's like that and, yeah, and, and they must comment if that's how they feel they must comment right right it's open i really i really am not mad at christianity and there's the just something happening. that's wrong it's just that let's talk about the source 
Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the source. Let's talk about That's how it came to about. be. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Let's talk about everybody knows that everything came from Africa. Why are we making it seem like it was dark and then Bah, he put two Caucasians on Earth. Why are we doing yeah. that? Jeez, that's <laughs> heavy. Why are we doing that? No, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, why are we doing if that? If everybody knows yeah. that everything comes from Africa, then why are we putting Pretending. it like that? Yeah. Why are we saying, bah, two Caucasians were there and then we all then came about? Somehow, like, come on, so why are we doing that? that? Yeah. Why are we doing that's that? That's an honest if conversation. If we were monkeys before, cool. For. If, if black people were monkeys before, cool. You guys came from us. Yeah. So therefore, <laughs> so therefore, so therefore, that's why. Uh, dude, uh, <laughs> no, let's do the no math. Hundred. Why are we arguing about the source yeah. when it's yeah. the source? And yeah. it's a big contention for us because, and which is why I said, I think I said it in the last one or this one, I said I'm uncomfortable with Caucasians. I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's usually where it comes from. Yeah. The yeah. hate about the source. Yeah. You know, the, the, yeah. the tarnishment of what I'm saying you, right yeah. now. You know what, Gatti? It comes from there because I'm like, you know what, Gatti? Yeah. How? When I started studying uh, my past, yeah, uh, where religions come from, yeah. right? I even know things like uh, how religion came about in the in Europe, yeah. in the political sense, how it rose to power politically, yeah, yeah. through conferences. Like yeah. I know the deeds, yeah. Right? No, the I, 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 I trust, I trust. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> always dropping no, us. No, no, like, no, no, <laughs> like, did you know? Did you man <laughs> drop these gems? <laughs> so, like, <trust. laughs> I am not smart enough. <laughs> and, and, and when I started, I had that same frustration, right? You know, which I think is a frustration. You know, you have that frustration, and you feel like everyone should feel like this. Yeah, yeah. right. Like we should do something about this, right? Yeah. And get smarter, right? Yeah. Yeah. But as I went along, that frustration dies down. And, you know, when you see somebody else reacting the same way, you're like, but I wasn't crazy to feel like, Such a way. why aren't we talking yeah, about right. this? <laughs> right, yeah. right. Like, like, why is it so hard to talk about? Right. Yeah. right? Uh, but I've since come to grow that as humans, I feel like we're not where we think we sh- are in- intellectually. Right. Mm. I feel like people walk around pretending to be smart. Mm. Right, but can't figure out the simplest of things, mm. and and I think Africans were brilliant in their wisdom of trying to understand simplicity, mm. which is simplicity that you falsely you falsely believe it's simple, but it's not really simple. simple. Mm. Right, quite complex. There was a lot of complexity in the things they were doing by, and they kept it simple because they understood yeah. how complex it is mm. just yeah. to keep it simple. Yeah. Mm. So I'm starting to believe that really we're not as Smart. It, like we're not as smart yeah. as we think we are, mm. but we're getting there by having such conversations. Yes, I think we're getting there, and and you know, there's been prophecies, right? They say the the world goes through ages, and there's a dark age as well, right? An age of ignorance, and mm-hmm. it's a cycle, not a progression. So people think, okay, the people in the past were dumber than us, and mm. now we are the evolved guys mm. who know better. Mm. But Africans didn't see it that way. Mm-hmm. They they just saw it as a really logic. Mm. It's a wheel. Mm. Mm-hmm. And once you're at the top, that's why they believe we look at the p- civilization's evidence like the pyramids and Egypt and we're like, okay, mm-hmm. if we're going to talk about we got smarter, what is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> what's going on yeah, here? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. did not no. get it. It must be smarter. aliens. <laughs> 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 yeah. How? Like, yeah. I don't get that. Like, yeah. I don't get that. Because why we can't describe it in this sources? linear, yeah. we got smarter thing. But we can. No, we, oh, you mean because we can't get... Be- it doesn't yeah. fit yeah. the yeah. model. Right, right, so before we getting... So, oh, fast getting smart. Right, 100%. So, so Africans but were But we white. can describe the source yeah. of those pyramids. <laughs> yes. People just don't want to. Sorry. People <laughs> just don't want to. <laughs> People just don't want yeah. to. So that's why I believe, yeah. I believe we're, we're coming out of an age of this ignorance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And just the fact that I never imagined, with the story told to me about what being black is about, yeah. that I'd be sitting here discussing Chinua and Chebe, things fall apart part with my friends yeah i never th- like yeah. you don't understand with what was taught to me about what i'm supposed to what be you're doing, supposed to what supposed you're supposed to, to aspire in life as, as johan rupert says i'm supposed to be a taboo <laughs> <laughs> right now spending 30k <laughs> spending, spending <laughs> bags 30K, right? yeah, yeah. and then putting it on instagram and having everybody go wow <laughs> <laughs> What a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, jeez. Like, yeah, and that's that's also what I wanted to touch on uh, for Kat. Because yeah. it's like, oh, Kat, you see, okay. we can get frustrated and it's justifiable, 100%. Mm. And we can 
we can problem identify that hey this is the problem mm. but that's where the responsibility comes in, for us to have such conversation mm. about our african brother writing such a magnificent I book, this book and being like hey guys let's also shout out, mm. sorry shout let's out bargain books shout out bargain yeah. books. Books. Yeah. books we had a shout out <laughs> but <laughs> and it was in the beginning yeah, too it was in the <laughs> other podcast <laughs> yeah and we had it in the right place <laughs> yeah. it was in the beginning of the podcast <laughs> before we started before we even i feel started. like now we need to put a text there on the podcast thank shout you out bar- to bargain, bargain books and it's not gonna work the same for no, the, but for the ability to even just yeah, no, thank you to Bargain yeah, Books. Yeah, yeah no, shout out, shout out, yeah. uh, shout out to Runet too Club as well. Yeah, at, Runet uh, at Bargain Books Bargain as well. Books, Mall of Africa, <laughs> Mall, 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 Mall of the North. I almost yeah. said Mall of Africa. Yeah, yeah Emmanuel, Mall of the sorry. North, shout out to you. Yeah, no, no, no. Basically, that was it. It's just the fact that we're able to problem identify facts, right, and say that hey, this is frustrating. Facts. That we've been force fed you know this certain yeah. narrative of how we should be how we should how we were to, how we were as well and now we having the ability to broadcast ourselves to broadcast our narrative right? yes. like, okay right here here's a different side of it and right. you choose right. you know and you choose then you make a decision it's just part of the process yeah i think you become less frustration less frustrated yeah Kately, when you realize that this is it mm-hmm. this when is you it. say why aren't we talking <laughs> this is it this, this is, is it. why we're talking about it this right is right what's happening facts, right now facts, facts, right. Nah, true, true. so I mean, that was things fall apart. I don't know if my fellow podcasters still have no, 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 things to add on. You're good. You're good. Great good. initial thoughts. Yeah. I can't wait for the to read the rest of the book. Facts. And yeah. I can't have to have more conversations with other people. Like 110%. I said earlier, I want to have more engaging conversations because I want to also get to a part where because a long time ago, I've I, I, uh, uh, for a large part at least in the religion in my religious belief, I've yeah. been shifted and wavered, you know, yeah. to a certain directions, you know. Yeah. Like um, I've been like. First, I was. Uh, I'll talk about the different beliefs. I was African, traditional. Yeah. African spirituality. We used to say they mentioned snafe in the book, right? Right. Yeah, tobacco. I think mm. they mentioned mm. snafe. I, I think, think they call it th- snafe too. No, they called it a different name. What did they call it? Ah, dude. Oh no, no. I'm thinking about something different. <laughs> I'm thinking about <laughs> something different you. that I saw on Instagram today. Sorry. I think they mentioned snafe in the book. I could have okay. sworn. I'll go back. I, I, I'll go okay. back. No But problem. anyway, you were traditional uh, African. Yeah, traditional beliefs. African snafe. Buddy, we were we were on us, but some nigga, you know yeah. the vibes. Yeah, cool for the dead homes. For the dead ones, <laughs> right? <laughs> cool. And then I got swayed into Christianity. Christianity. Mm-hmm. And I looked at it, and I mean, they make a they they pose a very strong message, like believing us to go to hell. That's very strong. That's just very compelling, especially when it's coming from yeah, especially when it's coming from like your boys and your peers, <laughs> and, you're, and you're like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, what the Jeez, hell? Man, oh my, am I doing the wrong thing? All my here? people, yeah, all my people believe in this. All the people that I respect, all the people that yeah. I you know, yeah, know yeah, yeah. and love very well, 100%. believe in this. Okay, cool. There must be something here. You know, there yeah. must be something going on here. And then I got out of it. You know, I got out of it because, and it was the tithe. I don't want to lie to you guys. Tide it was the money thing. Made me <laughs> get out of... No, seriously, I because I was, at a, church, like, like, I was at a church, like, all right? Okay. And they were putting together money for a building. <laughs> and they wanted us to put the money together. And if you don't contribute, they look at you with that... Yeah, yeah, judgmental eyes, right? Like, nigga, you ain't playing your part. No, yeah. I get it. We all have to get together to make yeah. sure that the things yeah. happen. Yeah. But I was like, nah, this but is some strange shit. You didn't coming, have a strong I'm enough coming here for answers. Do it. You're making me... I'm leaving with more questions. You know? Yeah. I'm That's coming okay. here for answers, you 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 know? That's okay. And it's like I I said no, okay. I'm not going to be part of this. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to being a broke man saved me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically what happened. You know, but I mean someone was like oh, you then that that was just the church you went to and yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's the representative of God, not really God's word. There's a lot of right, there's a lot right, of right, there's right, a lot right, that yeah. could right. be unpacked. put into it. But you know on that point, maybe right. this is a good way to end off the podcast right. with with this um, insight, yeah. right? That even, you know how st- stuff like that came to pass, right? right? Like tithing, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and et cetera, et cetera. Even how th- those kind of things landed in the spiritual text to begin with. Yeah. Uh, I think I know the story. So there was a time, right? Remember the sacred text of the Bible exists before the Bible being compiled, right? Mm. The Bible was compiled by Rome <laughs> at a council called the Council of Nicaea. They decided what a gonna fall into the bible they left that council with something called the nicene creed which we still say at the roman catholic today mm-hmm. uh, at the roman catholic church today but there was a time where the religious texts were not even in english they were in mm. a different language this is before the printing press people did not even know how to read mm-hmm. right so the pastor had a monopoly on the knowledge shared in the spiritual text. Mm-hmm. The pastor had to interpret the books mm-hmm. for the people, mm-hmm. right? Makes and sense. they would sneak in beliefs like tithing was just, tithing is not a religious thing, but really a 
uh, it's like tax. It's a state thing, right? Mm. The state realized that it needed Something contributions. Just like tax, we all contribute so yeah. we can build a school, build this. So then the, the Roman church then snuck that into the verses because they realized that people wouldn't go back to read the original text and then interpret it for themselves. Mm. So even just, I, I just wanted to end it on that yeah. insight to say yeah. there's a reason why that confused you. Yeah. And, and mm. why it was yeah. like, why is it? Mm. Yeah. It's because that was the it doesn't agenda make of the political right. it church, doesn't, it doesn't make the political sense power at the time. For it to be in about God. the book yeah. when this is not about like state and, and politics and stuff. Yeah. This is about religion. This is about yeah. your connection Spirit. with <laughs> yourself <laughs> and God. Bigger. Yeah. Why yeah. are you making me pay? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, money is an invention. Like lazy. that's something that, yeah, money <laughs> is something that we lazy. came up with. Yeah. <laughs> Humans, we came up with that and said, I've got to trade and exchange yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, why am I <laughs> like, yo. Yeah, it's you very know? layered, Facts. let me say. It's very layered. Deep anyway. conversation, yeah. Uh, layered conversation. I feel like there's a lot for people to chew on. Oh, <laughs> I feel four four like chapters. Probably they, <laughs> yeah, probably they're still questioning. And, and Loki, this conversation is a lot deeper than the first one. And yeah. it's because we had the first one already that this one get, is getting <laughs> could, We could deeper. dive Expose into us. Yeah, because <laughs> No, honestly speaking, because yeah, I feel yeah, like the first one was very lighthearted. We that was true initial touched, thoughts. Yeah. We touched on the man <laughs> on the cross with the nails in him for a few minutes. Yeah. And then we moved on. Actually, that was a great point <laughs> right, in the last podcast. Right, right? In the last but And then we moved Moved on. Now God, today, today God. it feels like we're, we're, we're. I mean, now it feels like we're touching on him a bit more. But really, it's not that deep. Trust me, it's just that we had this discussion and now we're yeah. having a deeper one, right? And so, and it's an open conversation, right? It's sure. Like it's yeah. never. It's never uh, like you against us. Now yeah. let's chat. Let's, let's chat. chat. Let's That's chat. the point of a book chat. to come together and have conversation. Let's chat. Yeah. It's yeah. it's all just a conversation in good faith. Respect yeah. for all religions. Respect for for all cultures. Yeah. Facts. Just having a conversation. Yes. Um, and I c that's things fall apart, guys. Things There's a lot apart. to learn from this book. Most of it will be what you extrapolate from it, not just what's on the pages. Right. So right. just know that when going into the book that you're going to read this for you to get smart yourself and think about things deeply exactly. with context, not really for the information to be force-fed to you. Right. 100%. Uh, yeah, that's things fall apart.